your friend. But when it's buttered or jammed or marmited and left on the edge of a kitchen bench, toast can go very, very bad. Hi, I'm Mitch. And I'm Mike. And today on Wacky Workshop, we ask the question, is it true that falling toast mostly lands buttered side down? The theory of toast falling buttered side down can be explained by Mike, dressed as a scientist. A combination of a high centre of gravity, induced turning moment, and the weak nuclear force serves to invert the toast mid flight, creating a leading edge vortex. Sure, it's easy for him to say that, but we want to know, is it true? Of course, we could conduct an experiment with one piece of buttered toast, the edge of our workshop bench, and a badly placed elbow. But what would that tell us? Butter up or butter down, it could just be a fluke, a one-off. That's why we'll be using not one, not five, not ten, but twenty pieces of buttered toast, all pushed off our specially built workbench by our specially built pusher offer. Yes, it's a piece of wood. Yes, it's a piece of wood. Safety goggles on. Earmuffs on. In three, two, one. Bando! Time to count. 19 out of 20. That's 95% of butter toast landing face down. So currently it is true that falling toast mostly lands butter side down. Too true. Too true. But wait, falling off the Wacky Workshop bench is all very well, but would the result be the same if we dropped not 20, not 50, but 100 pieces of buttered toast from the third story of a building? Safety goggles on. Earmuffs on. In three, two, one. Bang on! Time to count. 44 out of 100, that's 44% of our buttered toast landed face down. Too true. Too true. Dropping 20 pieces of buttered toast from the Wacky Workshop bench resulted in 95% of buttered toast face down. But 100 pieces of toast dropped from a three-storey balcony resulted in 44% of our buttered toast face down. And so, after rigorous experimentation, we can assume this extremely scientific result. It's not true at all. Toast will fall on either side from any height, regardless of butter. Thanks for visiting the Wacky Workshop. I'm Mitch. And I'm Mike, saying bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.